Okay, so this is a hydrostat pump out of my lawnmower, and I just want to put a quick video out because every hydrostat pump is exactly the same. It has nine pistons in varying sizes, and whether it's a lawnmower or a combine, it involves this pump spinning and these plungers moving oil from one side of the hydrostat to the other. The swash plate here does it, so all you're doing is tipping it one way or another to go forward or reverse. That depends on whether it's pumping the piston this much or this much. Now where every hydrostat fails is it has to transfer that oil from here to a brass plate. And then that brass plate takes the oil and sends it to your motor and either spins it in forward or reverse. Now, if your hydrostat starts slowing down, especially when it's hot, when the oil gets a little bit thinner, your mower starts slowing down, all that's happened is that brass plate has a groove in it. A little piece of dirt went through it, a little piece of something went through it. It'll cut a groove in there and all that oil will leak off and your hydrostat will slow down as it gets hot won't work at all or it'll just leak so much oil past the brass plate that it'll come out your seal and you'll think it's a seal but it's just your oil leaking off. You can replace that brass plate or if you find a really good machine shop like DM Precision here in Dunville, they have machines and lasers that can machine it to a quarter of a thousandth of an inch and make it perfectly flat again. You're able to take a tiny bit off that brass plate, make it perfectly smooth again and you have a brand new hydrostat that you didn't pay thousands of dollars for. So this is a swash plate back from the machine shop and as you can see it is absolutely perfect now if there's any lines on there whether you can feel them or not the oil will bypass it has to transfer the oil from the back of this from those holes through those slits and if there's a groove in there that oil will leak off and your hydrostat will not work and we got some t4 rotella that we're going to uh, put inside of this and that's actually what hustler calls for very simple to put this back together again. I need a new bearing. It's a hard for me to get this bearing, but it's coming. The cage came apart, but the balls can't go anywhere once it's together. Because it's so simple to take apart, I'll replace this bearing when I get there in a fold seal kit, and away we go. Hope that helps somebody. Here we go. <laughs> 